with the, give, a, give us a, a non-spoilerly introduction about the film, about, about the film. Well, Canaries is a sci-fi horror comedy which takes place uh, on New Year's Eve in a Welsh valley. And um, it's basically about sort of the first wave of an, uh, an alien invasion, which um, for some reason the aliens have decided to test out in the uh, valley town of Lower Cumtuch in Wales. Um, so it's all about how a bunch of drunken Welsh people react to uh, 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 an invasion. Um, people say you should write about what you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this is a mixture of, of what I know and I, I think anyone involved in genre, and I've, I've, uh, I've heard this in interviews with, with uh, other filmmakers, is that they've come out from seeing some of their favourite films, you know, they come out from watching The Thing or any number of things, and then they look around at their real life surroundings and say, what if that happened here? Mm. And that, that's very much part of the genesis of Canaries, is you, you watch something like Independence Day or any one of these alien invasion films, and you think, what if that, what if that happened in Wales? What if that happened to, to people that I grew up, the type of people I mm. grew up with? Um, so I think it's a mixture of what I know and what would be amazing to to watch. Okay. <laughs> um, now you wrote and directed, and, yeah. and we briefly discussed earlier that perhaps sometimes people get too close to the material because they're they've written it and they're also directing it. How yes. do you handle that? Well, I think. Because we cast such a lovely bunch of actors, um, there was a mixture of respecting their opinions mm -hmm. about about the script as well, and so I, I was very, you know, I was very open to having some improv there, and also the fact that because I'd written it a while ago and redrafted it, then when I was directing it, it wasn't a question of, you know, this is my vision, you can't say this word wrong. You know, it was a question of, okay, if this doesn't feel right for you, let's work out another way, mm -hmm. and then I have the the writer on set to rewrite it for you, oh. um, potentially, you know, if I, and you know, it's very rare that I didn't like an actor's idea, you know, there, there are a couple of moments where they said, I'm, I'm not sure if I'd say this at this moment, and then, so we're like, great, let's move it, you know, I think mm. um, <clears throat> what was tremendous about shooting it was that it was a real collaboration, and I like that, you know, I certainly mm. don't want to be controlling, and I don't think I've really got the right to be if I'm just starting out anyway, so. Yeah, because it's your first feature. Yeah. Yeah, you've done some shorts before. That's right, some shorts. I did a web series called Secludio, uh, another one called Downstage Confessions, which got some nice reviews and some buzz online. But mm. this is my first, uh, it's my first feature film, yes. And kind of over the weekend, I noticed you're, you're very much a double art with Craig. You yeah. Put, and he produced the film and he That's also right. starred in it. How did yeah. you, you two of you get together? Well, we met uh, on a performing arts course, BTEC National Diploma in Performing Arts, uh, in a fantastic place called Gorsinan College, which is um, a, a sort of a feeder school to all the major drama schools in the UK. Mm. And uh, we, we've been friends ever since then. Um, and then at some point it was a question of how, how can we work together, you know? Because um, I moved to America, and so it was a question of let's make a film back in the UK together. Why? I think I know the answer to this before I ask it. Why move to America? Um, <clears throat> well, I, uh, I fell in love with an American and she uh, dragged me over there and married me, so... That's not the answer I was expecting. Ah, yeah, no, it, it, it was... a nice it, answer. Yeah, no, it, it, it's none of this, you know, I'm going off like Dick Whittington to seek my fortune and get an O-1 visa. It was, it was very much a question of, you know, I'm, I'm over there, you know, sort of 60% of my time and then I'm, I'm finding time to come back over here and work because mm. I just love shooting in Wales and I love the actors and the crew. So, your first film, Going into it, what were your perceptions, and and kind of when then when you came out of it at the end, were they the same? Uh, I think my perceptions going into to this, it was more all those fear questions of what if this happens and what if that happens and what if it hails for five days straight and we don't get it and mm. you know all those kind of things. But um, I was certainly nervous. But I think what was great was that we hit the ground running and we just we had great collaborators. Um, and I think by the end of it, uh, what I was learning was. Don't be too shy about saying, you know what, I want and I'd like an extra take on this and I think we've got time for another shot on that. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, because people were tired, obviously, and, you know, so there was a question of, because the budget was so low and people were mainly doing it for a lot less than they were worth, there was a question of you don't want to push the days mm -hmm. on too much. By the end of it, I thought, I think they're going to appreciate if I ask for one more take, a couple more takes on this, a, a few more shots of that. It's just going to end up as a better film, and so there were things later on we were able to go back and and, and shoot some extra uh, footage of. One thing that sticks out in your memory about the whole shoot, what would that? Be? <laughs> well, 
uh, again, because you know, occasionally we were we were you know very low budget operation. Um, there's a um, this 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 is a bit of a spoiler, so I'm trying to work out how to phrase it. But there's there's a moment where I am hiding in a, a, a down in a riverbank, dressed as one of the aliens, um, in order to to reach out and grab somebody. And I remember sort of with my feet in wellies, you know, stuck in this little stream, you know, cold morning mossy bank. And I can just remember thinking, like, I'm absolutely loving this. <laughs> you know, I'm not an outdoorsy person at all. So if mm. it wasn't to do with a film, I'd have had the same physical experience going, God, this is horrible. Mm. But because it was about creating something that I'd written and everybody was around to help help it, mm. I, I, I was absolutely uh, ecstatic. Oh, great, great. So, <laughs> and what's next? Oh, next. Well, there's uh, there's a few projects that I'm developing with Craig to shoot in Wales. There's a screenplay I wrote called Created Sleep Transmissions, which is being uh, optioned by a lovely company in America. Um, there's some other things I'm developing in the States. So it's really mm. just a question of um, working transatlantically um, to, to develop new ideas. Mm. And, you know, I, I, I have developed a... I've written an outline for the sequel to Canaries as well. Oh, I thought I was going to ask about that, but yeah, that sounds a good idea. It's, I mean, <clears throat> I'm, I, I've loved the experience of working on it so much and I've really loved the world that I wrote and created and then that actors took even further. Mm -hmm. I love what the actors have done with the characters and I just want to continue their stories. And, you know, honestly, I'll, I'll continue them drawing stick figures with crayons if I have to. Mm -hmm.